Hello and welcome to another look at the term spirit. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew while the New Testament was written in Greek. Therefore, we want to briefly look at both Hebrew and Greek terms for spirit. The first use of the term spirit in the Bible is found in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, which states, the earth was without form and void. And darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Here, the Hebrew term used is Ruach Elohim, which means Spirit of God. This verse establishes that the Spirit of God was present and active at the very beginning of creation. The term spirit is closely related, it's somewhat likely, to the Hebrew word for breath. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, it says that God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living soul. This breath of life is also associated with the Spirit of God giving life to humanity. The Hebrew term ruach has a rich and varied meaning, commonly translated as wind breath or spirit. Its semantic range allows it to be applied in different contexts, which can include wind, referring to the natural phenomenon as seen in Genesis chapter 8. Verse 1, where it describes the wind that God sent to receive the flood waters, spirit. This can refer to the divine spirit of God, as in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, or the human spirit, which encompasses aspects of one's emotional state or soul, breath. This music often relates to the life force within living beings. Indeed, Raj is translated breath 27 times, according to Strong Dictionary, where it is number 87307. The King James Version translates Strong's H7307 in the following manner. Spurs with capital S, Catechus S, and Tithri two times, Wind 92 times, 27 times, side 6 times. Mind five times, last four times, name two times, air one time, anchor one time, cool one time, courage one time, miscellaneous six times. The text in which Ruich is used is crucial for determining its specific meaning. However, all the meanings are closely related. For example, it refers to wind, air, and breeze. In the New Testament, the original term used for spirit is the Greek word, the pneuma or pneuma. This term is commonly translated as spirit with uppercase S or spirit with lowercase s. In English versions of the Bible and encompasses various meanings, including breath, wind, and life force in different contexts. The term Nema is often associated with the Holy Spirit, referred to as Magil, Nematos Agil. In passages like Matthew 1, 18, which translates to Holy Spirit in English, best. Numa can denote the Spirit of God, Lemotif still, as seen in Matthew 12, 28, and in other specific tiles, such as Spirit of Truth and the Spirit of Christ. The Greek term intuit translates to spirit, greed, or soul. It carries a range of meanings in different contexts. Spirit, in a theological context, Numa often refers to the Holy Spirit, Brit. The term can note the physical act of breathing, symbolizing life, 
or vitality. In some contexts, it can refer to the essence of a person or the animating force within the being. The KJV translates Strong's G4 1 to 1 in the following manner. Spirit at seven times Holy Ghost, a nine times Spirit of God, thirteen times Spirit of the Lord, five times my Spirit, three times Spirit of Truth, three times Spirit of Christ, two times human Spirit, forty-nine times. Evil. Spirit forty-seven times. Spirit General 26 times, Spirit 8 times, Jesus, Spirit 6 times, Jesus Ghost 2 times, Miscellaneous 21 times. Now, if you had never heard how the term Holy Spirit is generally defined in Christianity, would you understand it as referring to a separate being or the Spirit of God, a description that the Bible actually uses? <laughs> 